Omnipod 5 app, first time setup. With the Omnipod 5 system, there are two ways to use the Omnipod 5 app. The Omnipod 5 app can be used on the provided controller or on a compatible smartphone. Depending on which you choose, your initial setup instructions and screens may vary slightly, and with either method, you will need to download and use the Dexcom G6 app on your own personal smartphone. Use this course to guide you along first time setup or refer to it later when you are ready. Connectivity to cellular data or Wi-Fi is important when using the Omnipod 5 system. Staying connected will allow you to be notified of important updates, as well as allow seamless auto-uploading of your data to Insulate's secure cloud. The provided controller is equipped with a SIM card that allows you to connect to cellular data at no cost to you. If you are using your own compatible smartphone, you are likely already connected to your own data plan. In either case, be sure to connect to your home or work Wi-Fi network. When using your own compatible smartphone, there are a few settings requirements needed to use the app. Be sure to comply with each requirement when they are displayed. During first time setup of the Omnipod 5 app, you will be directed to a website to create your Insulate profile. During this process, you will create an Omnipod ID, link accounts, including your data management account using your healthcare provider's unique code, select training preferences, and engage in e-learning courses. Once complete, you will be asked to enter your Omnipod ID back in the Omnipod 5 app. If you intend to use the Omnipod 5 app on a compatible smartphone device, you must first log into the Omnipod 5 app on the provided controller. This will allow you to use the Omnipod 5 app on your own compatible smartphone. Engaging in training before starting the Omnipod 5 system is essential for your safety and success. Before you begin entering your personalized settings in the app, you will be asked to confirm your understanding. Next, if setting up the Omnipod 5 app on the provided controller, you will be prompted to enter a screen message, select a background, and create a security pin. If setting up on your own compatible smartphone, phone security must be turned on and acknowledge phone notifications, and sound should always be turned on. Your smartphone device's pin will be the same pin used in the Omnipod 5 app. Now it is time to enter your prescribed initial insulin settings. Starting with basal settings, which will mainly be used to deliver basal insulin while in manual mode. Tap the arrow on the basal screen to move to the next screen. Tap on the max basal rate field. Scroll to the desired maximum basal rate. When the correct number is in the center of the scroll wheel, tap the number to select it. Tap Next. This will set the adjustable upper limit of manual mode basal rates. The next step is to create a basal program for basal insulin delivery mainly in manual mode. Tap Next to get started. The default name for the basal program is Basal 1. To change the name, tap the program name field and enter the new name. Then tap Done. Select an optional program tag. Tap Next. The start time for the first segment is always 12 o'clock a.m. Tap the End Time field and scroll to the desired end time. Tap the Basal Rate field and scroll to select the Basal Rate for the segment. Confirm the values of the start and end times and the Basal Rate. Tap Next. Continue repeating the steps until the final segment ends at midnight. Review the basal program. Check the graph and individual segment values are correct. Once everything is confirmed correct, tap Save. Next is Temp Basal. Temp Basal is only available in manual mode. To use Temp Basal, toggle to On, tap Next. Next, you will set up your bolus settings. 
the Omnipod 5 system is the first automated insulin delivery system with a smart bolus calculator informed by a CGM value and trend. The smart bolus calculator suggests boluses based on entered blood glucose values or current CGM value and trend and carbohydrates. Tap the arrow to start setting up bolus settings. It is important to note that target glucose values are used in both automated and manual modes and can be set for different time segments throughout the day. In automated mode, basal insulin delivery will be adjusted automatically towards your target glucose value. In both automated and manual modes, target glucose and correct above values are used for bolus calculations. Tap next to continue. Tap the end time to choose an end time to the segment. Tap the target glucose field to specify the target glucose for that segment. Tap the correct above field to specify the correct above value for that segment. Review and tap next. Repeat until all 24 hours are complete. You can create up to eight segments. Review the segments for the full 24-hour profile. Once everything is confirmed correct, tap Save. Insulin to carbohydrate ratio, or IC ratio, defines how many grams of carbohydrates are covered by one unit of insulin. The bolus calculator uses the IC ratio to calculate a suggested meal bolus. You can create up to eight different IC ratio segments per day. Tap Next to start setting up segments. Tap the End Time field and specify an end time. Tap the One Unit of Insulin Covers field and specify the IC ratio value for that segment. Tap Done to close the number keypad. Review and tap Next. Repeat until all 24 hours are complete. Once everything is confirmed correct, tap Save. Correction factor determines how much one unit of insulin lowers your blood glucose level. The Smart Bolus Calculator uses the correction factor to calculate the correction portion of the suggested bolus. Up to eight correction factor segments can be created. Tap Next to start creating segments. Tap the End Time field and specify an end time. Tap the One Unit Decreases Glucose field and specify the correction factor for this segment. Review and tap Next. Repeat until all 24 hours are complete. Once everything is confirmed correct, tap Save. Duration of insulin action is the length of time that insulin stays active and in the body. The Smart Bolus Calculator uses this setting to determine how much insulin remains in the body from previous boluses, called Insulin Onboard or IOB for short. Tap Duration of Insulin Action field and use the scroll wheel to specify the duration of insulin action. Tap Next. Maximum bolus is the upper limit of what the system will allow you to bolus. Tap the Max Bolus field. Use the number pad to specify the maximum bolus amount. Tap Next. Extending a bolus means that a meal bolus can be delivered over a desired period. This can be helpful with certain types of meals. Extended bolus can only be used in manual mode. Toggle the Extended Bolus button to turn the feature on if needed. Tap Next. Setup is now complete.